hey what's up guys welcome back to my channel and in this video i'm gonna show you complete setting for the legend of zelda tears of the kingdom in rogers console on your pc guys you can fix performance issue for the legend of zelda tears of the kingdom in rogers and and if you are facing low fps problem for this game in your rogers console on your pc then you can fix it very easily but do not use any mod for this game it's very important thing guys so let's start first of all uh, go to the game and right click and open mod directory so do not use any fps mod for this game because uh, 30 fps mod and 60 fps mod can cause low fps problem so delete all mods from here so uh, in the future you can use uh, these mods in your rogings for this game but this time these mods can cause low fps issue uh, performance issue so do not use any mod and uh, for more settings go to options and uh, but first guys do not use xci file for this game in Rogings, use nsp file instead of xci file so i have an nsp file over here you can see and now for more settings go to options and settings and go to system and use enable vsync so this time vsync is uh, useful for performance for this game in Rogings. so use uh, enable vsync and apply and go to graphics and if you are using Vulkan then please use OpenGL uh, instead of Vulkan because this time OpenGL is better than Vulkan but in the future you can use Vulkan because Vulkan is better than OpenGL for performance any game in Ryzen console but this time I recommend OpenGL so select OpenGL from here and select resolution scale native 720 so I have already selected by default and apply and save and for more settings uh, go to search bar on your windows and uh, make sure uh, your uh, drivers are up to date for your GPU so go to device manager and go to display adapter click here and right click as you can see i have only one gpu device in my pc and go to properties and drivers so you can see driver date and driver version already installed in my pc for my gpu so drivers uh, are up to date for my gpu and my pc so if you have older version drivers so please uh, update drivers for your gpu first and ok and close it and for more settings right click and go to display settings and uh, scroll down and go to graphic settings and click here and remove your old uh, writing application from here and browse and go to your uh, latest version writing so here's my latest version writing open file location select this application file and add and high performance and save now close it and make sure your rising console is up to date go to help and check for update so you are already using the latest version of rising so my rising is up to date and if you want more settings for your GPU device for this game in Rijinx then uh, uh, right click and go to NVIDIA control panel and if you have AMD GPU device then uh, go to uh, control panel for your AMD or uh, Intel HD uh, graphics so I am using NVIDIA GPU so I want some settings for my GPU for more performance uh, for this game in Rijinx So go to adjust image settings and select performance from here and check this option apply and go to manage 3D settings 
and scroll down and over here guys open gl rendering gpu select your gpu device okay it's very important select your gpu device and scroll down and power management mod select maximum performance and texture filtering quality select high performance and it's done now click on apply now go to program settings and click on add and browse and go to your writings application file right click and open file location and open and apply and it's done now close it and guys make sure your system version for your writings is up to date so i'm using firmware 16.0.2 uh, so you can use 15 firmware 15.0.0 now play the game and uh, after uh, starting the game uh, you can use uh, handheld mode from here so do not use uh, dock mode so use handheld mode from here so i hope uh, this video this tutorial will be helpful for you guys if you like it then please subscribe to my channel and like my this video thanks for watching guys